Hi everyone, it's Catherine here and I'm so glad to see you because I'm having a really bad day. I've just got some homework back from my teacher and look at it, it's absolutely all wrong. Look at those big red crosses next to every single one of my answers. Crosses mean that I've got things wrong, don't they? Crosses show we've got things wrong. Now today we're thinking about another kind of cross, a big wooden cross where Jesus was killed. Now back in Roman times, crosses were really horrible ways of killing people who'd broken the law. They were the very worst kind of punishment. Now the other people hanging on crosses next to Jesus had stolen things and they'd killed people. They'd done some really bad stuff. But Jesus wasn't like that at all. He'd done nothing wrong in his whole life. So why was he there? Well, Jesus was on the cross for all of our mistakes. He was there for everything we do that's wrong. Remember my homework covered in wrong answers where I just made things up? Well, there are mistakes all over my life too, but those matter much more. There are times when all of us do and say and think wrong things and those really hurt other people and they really hurt God. Because God is good, he cares about right and wrong. So he has to give the wrong things we do a cross. He has to give us a cross. But God loves us. So he took all the wrong things we do onto himself. And the biggest, reddest cross in all of human history wasn't given to us, but to Jesus. People who were there at the time saw Jesus and shouted, he saved others, but he can't save himself. They didn't understand that in being there, Jesus was saving us. In taking all the wrong things on himself, he was making a way for us to be forgiven. Let's say thank you to God for that now. Father God, thank you that you're good and you care about what's right and wrong. And thank you that Jesus loved us enough to die in our place, to take our cross. We're so grateful we can come back to you and be forgiven. Amen.